Hey guys, welcome back. I've cheated a little bit. I've pulled all the grates out and I've also sprayed down the bottom side with some uh, just Pam Original Canola Oil. Uh, I got two big cans and if we run out, we run out. But I got some store brand stuff in the inside, but we want to use the good stuff first. But like I said, we're going to hit everything with a nice heavy coating of oil, even come down the spray stack, the smoke stack, let that come down. Of course, everything will drip out. I got my smoke on a light, slight. Uh, nose dip down just slightly towards the grease drain to get that good grease out. Here we go, guys. So we're gonna get everything in the inside. That uh, water pan tray. Top. Push the bottom of the barrel. Out. Down the, the collector, the top, the door, light coat on the door, and that way it doesn't drip. And then we're going to wipe the bottom. The stems of the tail trees. We're going to put the grates in. I already sprayed the bottom side of the grates. Hello guys, as you can see, we're getting ready to light the coals. By nature, I'm a weed burner and a grill blazer guy, but since this is the seasoning, we want us to take our time. So I have three wet cubes. I have one chimney full of unlit lump charcoal and a, you know, a, a medium sized split and one little split. We're just gonna let this come up to temperature over time. We're not in a rush. I'm gonna cue that paint. I'm looking for anywhere from 190 to 225, 230. I do not wanna go over 230, 240. I want to do this about at least four hours. And like I said, guys, we're just going to take our times, not in a rush. This is not, we're not trying to build a huge cold bed to get meat on and a, a 10, 12 hour cook. We're just trying to get a low heat in there, get this thing drafting, cooking that oil in, and curing this paint. So here we go. This is just a prismatic torch from home. <laughs> here for a few minutes and let it yeah guys that's it we're gonna just take our time to take our time and let it uh catch and i'll bring you guys back once the coal has caught and all the dirty smoke is gone hey guys we're back it's been about 15 20 minutes i just wanted to show you that stack we're running about 275 degrees, clear, thin, blue smoke, vapors and blue smoke back and forth, just depending on how much air hits the box. But man, that's crazy. <laughs> that's what you want. That is what you want. But like I said, we're running about 275, 280. Both gauges are dead even. Hey guys, look how clean this fire is burning. You just, um, you got full combustion, you have flames. You have no white smoke, no thick white smoke. This is what you want, heat vapors or thin blue smoke. Let's do a quick re recap. We sprayed both grates, put them in, and inside the cooker we sprayed top, bottom, and all the sides. 
And off camera, I sprayed, I hold the pan can up to the top of the stack and just sprayed, sprayed, sprayed in a circular motion to get that stack and uh, collected nice and greased. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're about three hours in. I just wanted to take a uh, second and show you guys this. This is what you call this thin blue smoke. It goes from thin blue smoke to a little light smoke to heat vapors. It's just depending on your coal bed, your fire, which stage your stick is in burning wise, and how much air is getting. This is what you want, thin blue smoke or vapors. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been about four hours. I was around the house doing some things and I just let it burn all by itself. It was, um, it spiked up to about three and a quarter after a few hours and, uh, you know, I just slow rolled it and, and let it do its thing. Nothing happened, but everything was good, man. It, it, it ran like a champ, nice and smooth. The firebox is so efficient. The whole cook is efficient. It's drafted well. Everything was good. Um, the inside looks really, really good. I'm going to get in there and show you guys a close up. Everything looks great. Everything has a nice uh, dark color, according to cooked on oil. Um, it smells good. We're one step closer to getting to cook some great barbecue on this great uh, Shirley Fab offset. Looking forward to it. Um, as you can see, the collector, everything's colored. It's got a nice, uh, the grate has a nice brown color to it. Over time, it's going to get even darker. So as we see, man, this is a nice seasoning. Um, everything turned out great. Um, the stack was drafting and with thin blue smoke or vapors with no issue at all. The V basket did its job. The insulation firebox did its job. As time going, guys, I'm going to make a video on fire management. And what's coming up next is the biscuit test. So guys, stay tuned. That's coming up next is the biscuit test. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys like these types of video, we can make some great barbecue and cook some great food on this channel. The tail trues held temperatures well, no issue at all. And this, these are three inch dials with six inch stems. So guys, I thank you guys for watching. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, cook and barbecue 24-7. Thank you.